A violent week in Petersburg and police are now depending on science to help them lead to the several shooters after the people who were shot refused to speak. Crime Insider John Burkett explains. A man survives multiple rounds of high caliber ammunition. Petersburg police believe that man and the man with him both know who the shooter is. What's frustrating to investigators, even though he was almost killed in the attack, he's still not giving up information. Early Thursday morning, a car on East With Street near Old With absorbs a lot of lead. The passenger shot multiple times in his face. Covered uh, 45 caliber um, casings and we recovered um, rifle casings, 762. So, you know, nothing small. The driver injured by wrecking the car into a pole. The driver uh, suffered injuries as a result of the crash following the car being shot up. And what's baffling to investigators and their boss, Deputy Chief Emanuel Chambliss. Uh, they're not telling us what happened. Uh, they're, they're keeping it to themselves. They, they, they don't want to tell us anything. Chambliss says that no snitch mentality does no one any good, confirming that casings found on the ground here have already been packaged and sent to the state crime lab to be run through the ATF's NIBIN program, technology that will tell investigators if the guns used at this crime scene have been used before in other crimes. We're using uh, the scientific uh, stuff, uh, the NIBINs that you just spoke of, to, uh, to get results uh, to, to lead us in the direction of uh, who the suspects may be. The Wyth Street shooting comes three days after a Chesterfield man was murdered in Petersburg on Griggs Street. Detectives say there's no connection between the cases other than heavy rounds littering the streets. It could have been anybody around walking or other cars driving through the area at that time that could have been hit by gunfire that weren't a part of what was going on. Petersburg police have made an arrest in a homicide investigation, but they say they're looking for information in the life-threatening shooting. If you have that info, they ask you to call their anonymous tip line at 861-1212.